One of the funniest things I've ever heard about Baba Atipu happened earlier today. I had a man earlier today saying Baba Atipu is a genius businessman and that is why the Igbo people like him because he's going to use his business genius to transform Nigeria. I just couldn't stop laughing at that and that's why I had to make this video. I know as a fact that Baba Atiku has been trying desperately to be president ever since before I was born. I've seen him jump from PDP to APC and then back to PDP again in his quest. If you ask me, I'd say it seems like he forgot something in the villa and has been trying to get back to it. He's not really interested in actually making sacrifices for this nation. His case is very similar to that of Baba Buhari, who started trying to get back there since 2003 until 2015 when he finally did. And we all know how that turned out. The only difference is that Baba Buhari's case might even be better since he was always broke and at least used PTF to save lives, or so I heard. That, however, cannot be said about Drakin Jada, who was once the Director General of NEMA, uh, the, de the, de the Deputy Director of the Nigerian Customs Service, and the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria for eight years. He is the owner of Faro Water, Adama Beverages, um, Adama Prince, and Apti University. Upon all of this, please, please, kindly don't ask me what he did for Adamawa as a state, Jada or Genye, his own village and local government, because it was zilch, zero, nothing, nada. In fact, a very close friend of mine from Mubi in Adamawa state swore to me back in 2019 that he would never vote for Atiku, and he showed me some pictures as his reasons. Pictures of a dilapidating primary school, which he claimed Atiku attended as a child. The school is still in that crumbling state at this time, when an old student from there is literally among the richest people in the entire continent. I really get perplexed every time I see people actively campaigning for this man. What? Like genuinely? Do you expect a billionaire who hasn't done anything for his roots to come and transform a nation for you? Are you guys okay? Well to the articulated or whatever it is you call yourselves these days more so people are all acting ignorant and pretending like we didn't just witness Hadiza Bala Usman the director general of the Nigerian Port Authority forcing Baba Atiku to pay his taxes the, ta the taxes he evaded paying from 1999 to 2019 I mean personally I feel cheated and in an ideal and functioning society this man would not be running for president Rather, he would be on the run or behind bars for tax evasion. Hadith Abala Usman also had to seize 28 contracts issued to him by the Port Authority just to share among the people, to create wealth rather than hoard it like he does. This is the same guy that claims his American university provides education for the poor. I wonder who actually believes that too. In a school with very scanty numbers, where even the children of middle class parents cannot afford to go. I hear you loud and clear. It's also not a big revelation that he was voted as a member of the State House Assembly of Adamawa State in 1989. And even then, he still magically had to find a way to use that to do nothing for the people of Adamawa State. Tirakin Jada, keep doing you man. Never change. Keep tricking keep tricking these fools. But I have a que I, but I have a few questions. As an opposition what impact has he had on the nation? After losing the elections, does he just go home to await the next one? As a billionaire, what does he do for the people while he waits? It's still a game, right? Nothing and nada. Fun fact, Mr. Atiku. As a billionaire, you don't need power to make an impact on the people. I'm guessing no one has ever told you this. I mean, all Nigerian politicians are work, but at least I can speak for Tinubu. I can say he took the time to develop Lagos and then groomed leaders across the southwest who are currently standing by him now. But please tell me the Ariwa leaders that Rakin Jada has groomed. Tell me those that are currently behind him. It's still Zilch again and Nada, just in case you were wondering. In the end, people are still going to vote for whomever they want. I cannot stop that. The only thing I can do is call them out, since I'm not old enough to vote anyways. 
A big shout out to Umar Yali and Abdurrahman Suleiman Suleiman for making this happen. Drop me a like and subscribe if you liked this. If you did not like it, subscribe anyway, because you might just like the next one. Have a nice one. Oh, or don't. I really don't care.